A warm welcome for Emmanuel Macron. People queue up for a glimpse of him. They are promoting my culture, yeah. which is Africa. We are the real people. We are natural and we are the best. But this is our own original music, so I'm so happy they've come back to the origin of yeah. Nigerian music. Let's yeah. see him now. Let's say have a look at him. And they weren't disappointed. But the French president isn't just here on business. After the African Union summit and the meeting with President Buhari, this is the place to which President Macron has come. It's a new Africa shrine, the place dedicated to Fela Kuti, the king of Afrobeat, and it's brought the creme de la creme of Lagos to this place. Macron came here as a student, and he was clearly glad to be back. Be able to work on his excellency. Obviously, politics is important. And let me just remind you that this place was obviously a cultural place, a music place, but a space for politics as well. Yeah. Macron announced the launch of a season of African culture that will bring the work of African artists to France in 2020. I think for every artist, creator, creative in Nigeria that has been working over the past few decades, this is an incredible validation. I think it's a good sign uh, that um, uh, President Macron chose Lagos and um, at the same time chose Shrine uh, because for me he's a president that relates or wants to relate more with the future and the future are the young generation. Macron said the image of Africa in the world had to change. We have to build together a new common narrative. And this new common narrative is not based on what is important for European, but is what is important for African about their culture. Woo! That must surely include music, dancing and a good party.